But like I was saying, and that car just rolled past again, you know, all these people going to get judged when it's all said and done. Hitman going to get judged. Shadow Banner's going to get judged. All these people going to get judged when it's all said and done. And this is why I'm going to tell you something. If I was to go to any Christian church right now and say I'm a prophet, this, that, and the other, all it's going to be is conflict. They're going to reject me. Uh, you don't know what you're talking about, this, that, and the other. So, one reason why Christianity is so ineffective, because they reject prophets too much. Y'all listening to people who are agents, basically, the majority of them. Some of the most major ones, they agents. Like, they part of the agenda. But we ain't gonna get into that. I already got cars following me everywhere I go. So, back on the subject. Like, where I live and, and the areas that I be in, right? The, it's like some people be like, like so dirty. Like, I know you get dirty out here if you're working and stuff like that. That you wonder, like, where the family at? Where are the programs at that will help them? There's programs. There's programs. And that's, that's another car I be seeing a lot of time. But there's programs that help them and that will help them. Some of them won't go to them. Then uh, others, like their relatives, don't be wanting nothing to do with them. So it's a lot of people that just down and out. And it's crazy because some of them can pull themselves up and go do better, but people enable them because they keep giving them money. A lot of them, if you offer them food, they're going to throw it away. Or because one, one did it to me before. Or they're going to say they don't want it, or they're going to make up some type of excuse to try to get you to give them money. Like I told this one dude, nah, I ain't giving you no. He said, hey, you think you could give me some food? I said, yeah, what you want? He said, man, I want to get it myself. And it, nah. See, but people keep giving them money because people, a lot of people judgment is flawed. Like they don't know how they supposed to judge them. You can't, like it's so immature to just give people a free pass because y'all in the same race or y'all the same color. That's just immature. All that, like, like, like a, one of my relatives, just straight liberal, the Democrat this, Democrat that. And it's like, I got in a debate with her one time. And it's like, she got all emotional and stuff like that. I said, see, that's why I don't be talking to you. You flawed, I'm going to get away from you too. Like, I ain't in the business to fix people who don't want to be fixed. That's why we talk about this, this whole relationship stuff. See, a lot of these women, like we use the car analogy. They got to be restored. You got to take all the parts off. You got to make the whole thing run again. Like it's new. But they ain't going to let you do that. Remember the movie Christine? That's most of these women in terms of car analogy. Christine had a different spirit, like had an evil spirit like in the car. So the car was like masking itself to be restored. But when it was all said and done, the car turned on him. I think his name was Artie. That's a classic. Y'all like horror movies? Christine is a classic, man. People in my age group, they don't seen Christine. Christine is like a parallel of these women if you try to restore them. Like, they're going to be jealous. They're going to want you all to themselves. But yet something is wrong with them. That's, they like Christine. So... I'm not in the business to try to fix people who don't want to be fixed. 
And you ain't gonna gaslight me to try to get me to give you stuff. Because I ain't somebody that's trying to win you. And that's another thing. Do not try to win anybody over. Especially you, you Christians, believers. Do not do things trying to win people over because they're going to try to use you and they're going to try to deplete your resources while you thinking you impressing God. And you're going to get in, in the judgment and he's going to say, you didn't do that for me. You did that trying to make yourself look good. That's why you should never do anything to make yourself look good. You should do things because it's the right thing to do or because it's something that you want to do. But if we judged it like that, we can make our communities just somewhat better. Right now, people is just broke. They just trying to be hood. They're trying to be street. And I'm going to tell you, like, all those years where I had to break my mind from that, it really put me somewhat behind because all those years is like, that mentality was kind of getting in the way. And so I was quitting jobs because I was like getting mad. I was getting too mad and I would quit like, man, I ain't gonna let this person get me in trouble. When I had to learn over time, sometimes you still have to quit like people, jobs, you have to. It just don't make sense for you to stay in certain situations. Like, oh, you got young kids, man. You breaking your family up. Is that person breaking their family up? Or is that person family breaking up because of certain reasons? Like, people will be telling people to work it out. And they don't be, they don't be knowing what's going on. People like a woman is not supposed to disrespect her husband. And when you do, you're supposed to apologize and stop doing it. But when you add things to that, like not having sex, like not doing your part as a woman, like you're not helping, but you oh, this, 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 but you're not helping. That kind of stuff. You can't tell somebody like that. Man, just work it out. Because they'll waste their life. Just like you tell people, man, you trying to live around all them white people. You are Uncle Tom. But then they'll waste all their resources and may even lose their life trying to build a life around broke people. You start pulling up with new cars and stuff like that. Them dudes going to try to figure out a way to get in your house. Like, I know somebody been telling them, we've been telling them, y'all need to move. Neighborhood done got too bad. No, I ain't going nowhere. Ain't nobody going to run me out of my house. Garage done got broken twice within a week span. You supposed to live around people that their behavior represents yours. Did y'all have similar behavior? So if you're a criminal, of course, live in a high crime area. You're a criminal. But if you ain't no criminal, you're supposed to work your way out of that area. But I got to realize, having a house, that's you. That's your domain. Even with neighbors and stuff like that, that don't even matter. Your house is supposed to represent the way you think and your behavior. Your neighborhood is supposed to match the way you think and your behavior. So if you clean, if you a law-abiding citizen, if you trying to do everything the right way, why would you surround yourself around people that ain't? That's like expecting an eagle to soar down and, and, and interact with pigeons. If you're an eagle, you're supposed to fly high alone or find another eagle. You don't you don't see no eagles. Where I'm at, I see pigeons out here, maybe a couple ravens, every, all types of birds. Ain't no eagles out here. 
Now, if they know that, how do y'all know that? Y'all talking about Wakanda forever. Been living in the hood your whole life. Like that Wakanda forever stuff is just, it be triggering me, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. It, it just gets under my skin. And I gotta, I gotta stop letting that get under my skin. Because I know the truth. I don't work in, I told you I don't work in corrections. I done been a security guard. I've been doing deliveries all over the place. I ain't trying to hear that. I'm talking about Wakanda forever. Wakanda, let me show you how Wakanda was, even though it's just a move. They were working together. They were somewhat trying to get along with all the tribes. They had a whole system and they were wealthy because they were all working together using the resources that they had, which was what I forgot what they call it. That thing that his suit was made out of. What do people do here? I got ops. I got ops. Who do, I got ops. So, so I should live around a dude who wants ops or has ops? No, you know what I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to build up that them coins and get up out of there. Let him have it. You can have it. Oh, you leaving your people. How are they my people, man? How are they my people? How? Shooting so shooting one-year-olds? That's my people? Y'all crazy, man. Y'all done lost it. So that's my people. People who I come in the store, they sizing me up. Seeing if I'm going to let them take my stuff. Ready to start some stuff because they with their boys. And they buy themselves. They don't do none of that, the majority of them. But those my people, man, get out of here, man. I'm all for black unity. But I ain't uniting with ninjas. It's a difference. Now... We can go try to get some of them ninjas to be black over here with us. But I ain't going over there with them. Oh, you, this is what they say to me. Man, you supposed to be HPT. You grew from it. How you don't think like that from your... What do brains do? See, you ain't pay attention in school. Brains, when, when you increase knowledge... It stretches the neurons and the electrons in your brain to to maintain and to keep the knowledge and the wisdom that you gain. So, but some people, they never get to this point. Like they still, I know people that act just like they did when we was 12, 18, 20. You want me to act how I acted at 22? No. No, I would be catching bodies. No, I'm not acting like that. But this is the difference between me and guys now, though. I didn't go around starting stuff. I was dealing with, with the females. And even when my guys are like, man, you got that heat, you got that thing, man, it's just that, like, though, that don't, man, F that, man. I used to cuss, F that, man, man, let's let's go do this. And then sometime when I be on some dirt, they be talking me down. Man, he ain't even worth it, man, he's soft. Man, forget, dude, man. Like, we be, like, like, trying to, like talk each other down like that's why i was so mad when one of my my guys i used to hang around got in a situation with the police where they was having an interrogator calling them and everything and i was mad because two of our guys were outside i'm like dude how did y'all not and that was after that was like when i was changing like 
in church and stuff like that. I was like, dude, I guarantee you I could have got him out of there. To see what happened was he had got into this, this situation, this conflict, and he shot some people. And he, I believe he, he thought they were dead. So he didn't want to come out the house. He was in the standoff. They was, man, they not dead, man. Just go, come on out of there. They ain't say nothing. I mean, and I can't, I mean, it was like he said, it was a lot going on at, at, the, at the time or whatever. But I think, you know, I think I could have got him to come out. Like, dude, they can't keep you forever for that. He had been to prison a couple times. He didn't want to go back to prison. Because he thought they, I believe he thought they were dead. But why would I think like I did at 22 and I'm practically a couple years away from 50? Something is wrong. If you finna be 50 and you think like you did when you was 22, you're supposed to have more wisdom than that. My wisdom tells me these dudes, a lot of these guys on that tough guy stuff, just stay away from them. Why? Because I know how I am, for one. I ain't no petty guy, but like you come, I'm the type of like, dude, man, get away from me with that. Let me see. I think I told y'all about this situation. I was going, I went to pick my sons up from work and I was blocking the, you know how you had a walkway that sunk in concrete and people walked through that part. I didn't know I was blocking it because I, I pulled somewhere where they could see me. Guy had his cart. He didn't tell me, hey man, uh, can I get through? He, Cause I didn't know I was blocking it. He just was, was pulled his cart off the curb and was struggling with his cart. Then he got to talking slick. Like, man, you blocking all that? I said, oh, my fault, man, I ain't know. He kept saying stuff. Like, I said, man, move around, man. Go enjoy life. Live life. That's what I be telling these dudes. Man, go live life. Prison ain't no life, and if you dead, that ain't no life. I So I told him, go live life. He got by his car and tried to act like he was reaching for a gun. My window was kind of down. I'm like, and I got one too. So I, I pulled it out like, you know, halfway out. I had it in my, my zipper right here. I'm like, and I got one too. But see, that's what happens when you be around these type too much. I had another situation that I'm not going to talk about person hauling, you know, just it just was a bad thing. Bad thing happened. It wasn't my fault at all. But the way I think I'm like, okay, I need to find people similar. Same wavelengths of thought. And we need to live in the same area. Or I need to live in the area by myself. I don't need to live. That gang, thug, drug dealing, shooting, all that. Man, miss me with that. I'm past that. I wasn't even deep into that when I was out there like that. Like, man, I used to avoid, hey, listen. It was a couple bars. I'm like, man, I ain't going in there. Was it fear? Absolutely not. I know how to fight. I have pistols. It wasn't fear. It just was intelligent. Why would I go to the rival's bar? Why would I go where people who start stuff be at? You know what I mean? Like, that, is, that, that just don't make sense. So, I'm watching these people. You got to watch people. You out here now, you got to be watching. 
So, why would I talk about Wakanda forever and live in the hood and think I'm going to be driving new cars, nice cars? See, they stole both of my cars out my driveway. And I was furious because I was supposed to have a fence. Like, like they were supposed to put a fence up. And they never did. And those dudes, while we were all asleep, came in my yard, stole one of my cars, and knocked the ignition out of the other one. Busted windows, glass everywhere. I have no connection with these types unless they want to change. Now, when I used to work in the jails, I wanted to, to them to change. I wanted to see them change. I used to talk to them, you know, hoping that I could make a difference. But the thing about where you live at, you got to take the attitude, what if I don't make a difference? You want to have babies and stuff. And then when you you want to live in these areas, these areas are not for babies. The project, you got them apartment, the project type apartment. Why would you live in such a thing? You should work. And this, and this is why you women need to stop running these dudes off. You got a good dude. Oh, he born. He, uh, okay. You, so now you want him to fund your lifestyle while you go chase Pookie. And then they don't want us to say nothing about it. They just want us to go along with it. Be stepdad. While Pookie keep coming over there, and you come home and Pookie over there. No. No stepdad. They don't want you to say nothing to them. They don't want you to say nothing about them. They want you to impregnate them and then they get child support from you or alimony while they go chase Pookie. Because they think Pookie always got the longer wing ding and Pookie, he ain't working. So that's why y'all think he be stroking some. It ain't that they stroking anything different. A lot of them just ain't working. They got more energy. But it's so guys be working and still stroking. But they don't think like that. They think Pookie is better. Ray Ray is better. So they want he go to work every day. You think in in your mind he a lame. He show you his real emotions. So he a lame. So you break up with him and you don't have one, two kids. Now you getting child support. Y'all wonder how some of these girls be getting these trucks? Because they be having a job and they be getting child support from the guys who not pookies. And then, I, I live, he live in a better area, but you won't give him his kids. So then sometimes stuff happens to the kids or you try to wait to the kids is 18, they out of control, they running with the wrong crowd. This dude got a boat, he done live his life, he got a cigar in his mouth, he enjoying life, and now you want him to deal with them kids that you didn't raise, right? Because you wouldn't let them live with him. I'm telling you guys, don't go for it. You better off helping your kid get their own place if you know they ain't been living with you and they wild. Because they ain't going to listen to you. They'll be trying to steal your guns. They'll try to get your car when you sleep. No. That's why I do. You know what our birth control is? Pull out game. Condoms. What we used to call rubbers. I wouldn't get no vasectomy. Don't do that. Just be careful. You should be protecting yourself. So if her stuff ain't good enough for you to get, get your jollies through the, through the condom, it ain't even worth having. Do 
not get the do not get no hood type chick pregnant. You should be vetting a family too. Finding out if they from a dysfunctional family. Cause guess what's gonna happen? I ain't letting you see your kid. Why not? Man. Man, stop talking to her, bro. He'll be in the pookie, he'll be in the background, man. Stop talking to her, bro. Before I switch cheese. And there it is right there. Conflict with Pookie. Because what you going to say in the heat of the month? Man, you ain't going to do, if y'all cuss, man, you ain't going to do S-H-I-T. Man, we'll slide on you. Yeah, all right. Pookie ain't working. And neither is. I'm going to show you something. When you pick a neighborhood, if you're trying to avoid Pookie, Here's how you do it, man. And this is going to sound very stereotypical. Try to make sure that it ain't too many fish spots, fried chicken, blonde wigs, bonnets, big booties, long eyelashes, and especially light bright. Pookie is a magnet for light bright. I remember in the 90s, most of them wouldn't even mess with Pookie like that. But now, them light brights, they'll be practically look like a model on the face. Three, four kids. Hey, listen. You, if you think I'm lying, come to Milwaukee. You see them all in the liquor store. All in McDonald's. Tattoos all over their arms, leg, even sometimes on the top of their foot. You gonna see it. You say, well, man, you chugging her all that. You gonna see it regardless. So, I'm gonna close in a second. And then they had three, four kids. Like you ever, this, the red, real red pill guys, that's what they do. They'll be in a grocery store and they'll see a nice looking girl, but then they'll see a baby with her, a little uh, car seat. Or she got a bunch of kids with her, they gonna do this. And keep going. These dudes do not know how to handle somebody else hitting girls. When I say hitting, I'm talking about S-E-X that they used to mess with. They can't handle it. I'm telling you, they can't handle it. So you gotta be careful with that, you know, that stepdaddy stuff, I wouldn't advise it. You say, well, that eliminates half the women. Oh, well. Oh, well. And if you do deal with a woman with kids, do not move in with her. Don't let her move in with you. And let her raise her own kids and stay out of her business. That's how you do that. But you still got to be careful that the Pookie ain't lurking. Pookie have been unfollowed y'all to the movie there. So you got to be careful with the Pookie. But anyway, we got videos to come today. So stay tuned. This is the Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel.